ਮਿਸ਼ਾ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਟਾਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਟਾਕ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਕੁਝ ਨਵੇਕਲੇ ਢੰਗ ਨਾਲ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਯਤਨ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਜੋ ਬੁਰੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਫਸ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਹੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਬਚਾਇਆ ਜਾ ਸਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੀ ਬੱਚੇ ਖੇਡਾਂ ਵਾਲੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਪੈ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਸਰੀਰ ਕਸਰਤ ਵਾਲੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਪੈ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਬੁਰਾਈਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਬਚ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਨਰੋਇਆ ਸਮਾਜ ਸਿਰਜਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਹਾਈ ਸਿੱਧ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੌਜਵਾਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਸਿਖਾਉਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਖਾਸ ਟ੍ਰੇਨਰ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੱਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਕਰੰਚ ਜਿਮ ਤੋਂ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜਨਗੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਕੀ ਕੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਰੀਰ ਨੂੰ ਜੇ ਕਸਰਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਗੁੱਡ ਹੈਲਥ ਮਾਰਟ ਤੋਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜਨਗੇ ਧਰਮ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਆਓ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਾਉਨੇ ਆ ਧਰਮ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਅਸੀਂ ਚੱਲਾਂਗੇ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਤੇ ਸਿੱਖਾਂਗੇ ਕੁਝ ਖਾਸ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ Hi I'm Justin from Crunch Fitness and Good Health Mart. Today I'm going to show you some basic beginner routines that will help you on your journey for good health and good energy. What we're going to do is begin with the basic plank. Now one of the best tips that I can give you here is start with a stretch, touch the toes, hold for about 30 seconds, come back, breathe, lunge forward. What you want to do is take a step and lower the back knee so it's under the hip and you'd wait 20 30 seconds stimulate the nerves stimulate the muscle stand rotate face the other way you're going to take a step opposite foot oh I'm sorry knee down have it nice and straight like a square and hold and stimulate when you keep here you'll feel the blood running to the muscle that's going to wake it up without doing any high endurance and breaking a sweat now when you get into a plank position you want to make sure that your elbows are under your shoulder So if you were to lie on the floor like this, be very careful going down too depending on your surface. You would have your elbow under your shoulder and on your toes. From here what you will do is just hold as long as you can. This is part of a warm up as well in any exercise that you decide to do. What you want to do here is wait as long as you can. Make it a little bit uncomfortable because you're bringing life back to the nerves that are underused. From here you would wait your goal would be around 30 seconds to begin and then eventually you will progress. From here you would drop your knees down and rest. When you go back, I would like you to sink in between in your bum into your hips and into your ankles. So from here it will be a stretch. Once you're sitting here, relax, lean back. The hands will go down the knees and you go out. From here you want to get your chest as low to the ground as possible, chin and nose. Breathe in. Out. You'd repeat that around 10 times. Now from there, once you're warmed up by the core, you'll want to use more of your extremities. So from here you're going to do a light jumping jack, which would be like this. If not, you'd be doing leg kicks, which is straight. This will separate the hips and bring blood to the core over and over. Do it for about 30 seconds once again. From here, you take about a minute break, sit on your bum, and this is for the abdominals and if you have any fat in this area. Don't necessarily focus on the crunches, it's more legs. So from here, you're going to lift the legs up. Use the hand on the ground. 1 2 You do it for roughly 30 seconds. Then to get a better view, you'd be doing it on the opposite side. Hand down, palm here, legs up. 1 2 3 That way you're contracting both ends of the abdominals from the bottom and the top. Once you finish that and complete, we're going to use more of the functional movements. A push-up will build the chest, shoulders and your delts. Now to do a proper push-up, you want to have your hands as wide as you can comfortably and then have your nose go to the ground. When you go down, push up, come back down. Push up, come back down. The first time do as many as you can. make it a little bit uncomfortable once again that's going to liven up the nerves from here touch the toes again and we'll be moving on to functional stretches Fun functional stretches will be like this if you can at home you want to round the leg so you'd have your balance here up circle up circle down up once again up circle up circle down and up once warmed up your second functional movement will be for the abdominals again you're going to be on your bum legs here holding 
Legs higher, chest closer to the knees, holding, and legs up as high as you can. Make it a little uncomfortable. Down slow and repeat. Hold each area 10 seconds at a time. Now we're gonna be using those muscles in a movement. What you would like to do is get a little area, maybe mat size. You're going down to the toes, keep the butt high, so you're flexing the, I mean stretching the back. When you get to the toes, if you can't touch the ground and you make it to around here, don't uh, compensate only until you can reach the ground. Once you reach the ground, I would like you to walk out, push up. If you cannot do the push up, one touch, two touches, and then back to a seated squat position and up. If you want to make it a little more difficult or stretch the back more, you would go down, out, push up, and keep the bum high. So when you come back, you can get more strength in the fingers and lower back. Now we're going to use some weights for your, your limbs. You're going to strengthen up the chest and the shoulders. This is something you can do once again at home in a mat area. When you get on the ground, first we're going to work the chest. So you can get dumbbells anywhere at your gym or any fitness depot, any location. Um, the best way to start this is when you sit on the ground, be careful, put the weights down first. Once you sit on your bum, pick up the weights, lean back, and you have the elbows to the side. From here, oh, sorry, from here, your hands will come up straight like you have a bar in your hand. When you do this and you get uncomfortable, then I want you to meet in the middle. This is a resting area, but it still keeps the muscles stimulated. Down and up. Down and up. Once again, you would do this until it feels a little uncomfortable. That way you would reach the nerve. Now from here, you're gonna sit up and down. Up and down. This will work the abs and the chest at the same time. Shoulders are getting warmed up for the next exercise. Up and down. Now for biceps, which is right here, and triceps, this is a mix. You'll be starting with your hands on the side. Palms up, palms down. Palms down, palms up, palms down. This will help the rotation in the wrist and the head of the bicep. For triceps, you would like to keep them together so you have options. Once they go up, keep the elbows close to the head and you go up until it's uncomfortable and then wide. Close, up, and wide. Now to work the shoulders, what you want to do is take your dumbbells, soften the knees a bit. So when your knees are a little bit bent, you'll have more of the back and arms working for you instead of your legs. When you turn this way, hold straight. You're gonna have one hand out slightly to the side which will stimulate your, your shoulder and this side up, three seconds and down. Two, one, two, three and down. You would do that 10 times on each side which is 30 seconds and then you're gonna swap while this one is here. So you'll switch sides, one, two, three. One, two, three, until 10. When your shoulders are done and, on that, and you finish 30 seconds on each side, bend the knees even more. Forward, three, two, one. Down slow and stand. Forward, three, two, one. Down and stand. Now from there, if you find that you're getting pain in the shoulder, always get a nice stretch in between. Lean over, use the fingers, extend the hands and the wrists which will release ten relief tension. Now what we're gonna do here is if you're gonna use the weights, this is what we did before with the functional movement. We're gonna go down with the weights. To the ground, if you can't stretch, compensate and bend the knees. From here, you're going to hop back and you can either place the hand flat on the ground to work the shoulder and the core, going up and down, keeping it out as far as you can, or you can use the other weight, which will work the wrist as well and your balance. Up and down. You'd repeat that on each side and alternate up and down. If you can't do it with the weights, then you would get rid of them. Go on your hands once again and go touch, up, touch, down. Touch, up, touch, down. 
That way you will get a full rotation. If you want to turn it into a rest, you can use less pressure if you put your knees down, have your hands forward, and you're just going to lean and go up and hold. From here, you're going to sink into the shoulder, and it will stretch your ribs as well. And you'll do this in between. Hold up. Press with your hand. And back down. So now we're going to take a break. So in the meantime, do some of the stretches that I've showed you or go get yourself some water. Welcome back. Um, what we're going to do now is work a bit more of the legs. You can, the, the weights are always optional. If you want to do it without the legs, the best thing for the squat, and the exercise will be the squat, is to have your feet planted, toes forward, about shoulder width apart. Now from here, you'll have all four corners of your feet on the ground stabilizing your weight. Slightly bend the legs, see that, make sure you got a bit of give with the hips. From here, you would go down to 90 degrees. If you can see it here, you're going to go down, try to keep your back straight to 90, and then come back up. You can do it with your hands straight out as well, which will do counterbalance and help you with the weights. Oh, there they are. And then when you go back, hold your hands out, feel the stimulation for a second, let the brain understand, and then come out of it. And then from there, if you want to make it harder, you would take the weights and you would hold them on your shoulders. The way that you would do this is you would hold the weight like this. This is the way I would do it and it's really safe. So from here, you would keep the back straight. These would stay flat. That would help you with your guide. And when you go down, up, and you can add your shoulders if you like, if you have the dumbbells. Down, and up. Now with this, I'm gonna continue with core exercises with the weights. If you take these, sit on the ground, and from here, you're gonna use these as handles. So you're gonna have the legs up, and down, and meet. You're gonna do this for about a minute, and do not let your shoulder blades hit the ground. From here, we'll keep the top abs fully stimulated. And you do that for about a minute. From here, you'd sit up and shoulders with your legs up. If you're having problems, you can always put the legs down. But this will get the core once again. And then back, just hold. These are the three in a row, 30 seconds of each. It'll be a minute and a half of your time and then a full minute rest. Okay, so to make it actually, if you don't have a set of dumbbells, to make it, to get more stimulation, to make it harder, what you would do, once again, feet shoulder width apart, toes forward, 90 degrees down, hands up, and jump. Back down, and jump. When you land, try to land as soft as, you, as possible, because if not, you'll get some knee damage. This one's one of my favorites. What you do is, if you have the two dumbbells, this is all core and chest. So take the dumbbells, you would put them on the ground at your desired width. The wider is, more, is harder, I would say, personally. It depends on the individual. Now from here, you're gonna, you're gonna get deeper into your push-up. Elbows out, you go down and up. One, two, three, four, five. Down, up. One, two, three, four, five. Down and up. And you would do that in sets of 10 or 12 to get roughly a minute. If you find that you're dying before that and you want to get your energy up, I suggest upping your greens. That's one of the best that you can do with a greens plus or anything that you can find a good health mart. If you don't have the dumbbells, there's a burpee. A burpee, you would be taking your body, going down to the ground. Be very careful with this transition. You want to lean with the hands and pop the legs out with your bum. So when you go here, out and up. Out and up. That is a mix of all of the ones that we've done and it will stimulate the whole body. And if you do that before bed, it's guaranteed to help you sleep. Another abdominal exercise you can have with your hands and legs is a piston squat. When you go down to the ground, you're gonna hold your leg out, go low, counterbalance, down and up, hold. 30 seconds, then you go up, same thing. Focus on going down slow. So from this side, once again, you lift the leg, forward, hold, counterbalance. When you go down, use the weight and hold. And you would alternate each side. Now here's another favorite that you can do in your living room or in the comfort of your own home. This one is a little challenging, so I would continue with the plank 
and a bit of the shoulders before you try this for the full minute. If not, try it the best that you can. What you want to do is once again go down like you would in a push-up. So you get to the ground, have your hands to a desired width, back straight. Now from here, you want to lift your bum to as flat as your back. Now from here, you're going to take your right hand and put it on the outside of your left knee and hold. You can look under your armpit, which will stimulate more of the shoulder, and your obliques. If you look down, it will stimulate more of the chest and shoulder as well. All core though, and very valuable. You would alternate after about, once you feel the stress, and then same thing, flat palm on the outside of the right knee. And just hold, either under the armpit you will look, or flat down. Go until you feel the stress, and then come out of it. From there, instantly, Turn around and hold like this. This is gonna be your most beneficial for both sides of the abdominals. Anybody with a beer belly or good food eating, this is your favorite. And from here, shake the legs. If you find that you're not getting stimulated enough with the other exercise, this will add a lot more to it. And then legs down, rest. Once you're resting, get some good breaths. And then when you get back into it, sideways. Take a rest, legs down, and then you're gonna go single legs. They both stay up. If you're having trouble keeping both of the legs up, then you would keep one down, but stay single. One, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, and then doubles. One, two, three. Do that 10 times with the three intervals. And rest, and the last one is simple. You would lie down, legs up, and 10 seconds down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you repeat that three times for a total of 30 seconds. Welcome to Good Health Mart Bramley City Center. You have seen some of the things that Justin was telling you about protein or exercises. वो अच्छी है बट ये जो प्रोटीन जो है मेरे पास जो है ये बनी हुई है दूध से और वो भी जो दूध है जो कोई मिलावट नहीं कुछ नहीं ये ग्रास फेड मिल्क कहते हैं जो न्यूजीलैंड से आती है और ये एकदम प्योर है इसमें थोड़ा सा बीसीसीए है जो कि मसल्स डालती है और इसके अंदर ग्लूटामिन है जो कि होता ना इन्फ्लेमेशन ठीक करती है। And welcome back. I had a great time working with you. It was a blast. Um, let me just, if you have a problem with energy or you have problem building the muscle, a good combo I would say would get a great BCAA product mixed with a protein and have your BCAAs daily with your protein after a workout and daily as well with a meal. If, you need, if you're having problems with energy, I would suggest that you up your greens at home and if not, then get a greens plus of some sort and they have many varieties at Good Health Mart. And call the number on the bottom of the screen, any of the numbers. This is Justin from Crunch Fitness. See you soon. Uh, thank you for watching the show. Jo Justin has shown you exercises. वो आप रेगुलरली कीजिए बट वो एक्सरसाइजेस के साथ ये प्रोटीन्स की भी ज़रूरत है जो मेरे पास जो प्रोटीन है वो दूध से बनी हुई है जो ग्रास फेड मिल्क कहते हैं जिसको कोई स्टेरॉयड नहीं कोई मिलावट नहीं है प्योर क्लीन प्रोटीन है जिसमें ग्लूटामिन और बी है जो कि आपको मसल्स और ये मिलेंगे ये सब जितने भी जो प्रोटीन्स है सब्जी वाले भी जो प्रोटीन्स है आपको मिल जाएंगे गुड हेल्थ बाट Bramley City Center mein, uh, you can contact me on 647-518-4975 or do visit us on uh, Good Health Mart Bramley City Center. Yes, a protein so hap se lene ke liye. Thank you.
ਇਹ ਸਨ ਕ੍ਰੰਚ ਜਿਮ ਤੋਂ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਲੱਗ-ਅਲੱਗ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਸਿਖਾਈਆਂ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਗੁੱਡ ਹੈਲਥ ਮਾਰਟ ਤੋਂ ਧਰਮ ਜੀ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿਹੜੇ-ਕਿਹੜੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨੇ ਉਮੀਦ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਪਸੰਦ ਆਇਆ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਸੁਝਾਅ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਵਾਲ ਸਾਡੇ WhatsApp ਨੰਬਰ ਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ YouTube ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ Facebook ਪੇਜ ਉੱਪਰ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਦੇ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਫਿਰ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਵਾਂਗਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਮੁੱਦੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤਦ ਤੱਕ ਲਈ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅਵਨੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੇਜਾ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਓ ਇਜਾਜ਼ਤ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਰਹੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਟੀਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਹੁਣ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਆਪਣੇ ਫੇਵਰਿਟ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਦੇਖਣ ਲਈ ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਪਜਨਟ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਬ੍ਰਿਟੇਸ਼ੀਆ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਨੇ ਮਿਲਾ ਲਏ ਨੇ ਹੱਥ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਦੇਖੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇ ਹਿੱਟ ਸ਼ੋਅਸ ਹੁਣ ਬ੍ਰਿਟੇਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਤੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੀਆਂ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਸਵੇਰੇ 7 ਵਜੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਵੂਮਨ ਬੇਸਡ ਔਨ ਵੂਮਨਸ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਸਵੇਰੇ 7:30 ਵਜੇ ਕਲਚਰਲ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਵਿਦ 뮤직 ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਸਵੇਰੇ 8 ਵਜੇ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਚਰਚਾ ਤੇ ਐਂਟਰਟੇਨਮੈਂਟ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਵੇਰੇ 9 ਵਜੇ ਬੇਸਡ ਔਨ ਡੇਲੀ ਕਰੰਟ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਫੋਕਸ ਸ਼ਾਮ 5 ਵਜੇ ਜੱਜ ਦਾ ਵਿਚਾਰ 뮤지컬 ਕਾਮੇਡੀ ਸ਼ੋ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊਜ਼ ਵਿਦ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸਟਾਰਸ ਸ਼ਾਮ 6 ਵਜੇ ਬੇਤੜਕ ਤੇ ਪੱਖਪਾਤ ਰਹਿਤ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਪੱਤਰਕਾਰ ਜਤਿੰਦਰ ਪੰਨੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇਖੋ ਸ਼ਾਮ 7 ਵਜੇ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਰਿਹਾ ਅਖਬਾਰਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੁਰਖੀਆਂ ਚ ਦੱਸਣਗੇ ਸਵਰਨ ਟੈਣਾ ਖਬਰ ਦੀ ਖਬਰ ਸ਼ਾਮ 7:30 ਵਜੇ ਸੋ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਕਰੀਬ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਚ ਵਸਦੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਟੀਵੀ ਸੈਟਸ ਤੇ ਸਕਾਈ ਟੀਵੀ ਚੈਨਲ 743 ਵਰਜਨ ਟੀਵੀ ਚੈਨਲ 840 ਫ੍ਰੀ ਵਿਊ ਚੈਨਲ ਨੰਬਰ 264 ਤੇ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ